Hello Electro heads. Well, Tesla Battery Day has finally happened. The event that Elon Musk promised was going to blow our minds. And you know what? It wasn't as sexy as the Cybertruck event. There were no lasers, no smoke machines, just a lot of science chat, really. And a lot of Elon Musk telling us how difficult the things he's doing are. So it's very hard to keep a large casting uh, to have its shape. It's, it's actually very hard to do what appears to be a simple thing. If this was easy, everyone would do it. I mean, it's hard, actually. Uh, just to be clear. But if you wade through all the sciencey wyancy stuff and all the back patting, the things that were announced at Battery Day are truly game changing. Here's what you need to know. Tesla is going to start manufacturing its own batteries. And thanks to several breakthroughs in both the design and manufacturing process, those batteries are going to cost half as much to make as the ones Tesla currently use and have one and a half times as much range. What that actually means in plain English is that we're only a few years away now from a world where electric cars, or at least Teslas, have over 600 miles of range and cost less than their ICE counterparts. And that, my friends, is a world where petrol cars do not make sense anymore. Well, I don't think there will be an ICE industry long term. So. <laughs> yeah. But before we talk about how totally f***ed petrol cars are, let's go through these announcements in a bit more detail. Now, there are five key areas where Tesla reckon they can make things cheaper and easier. I'm going to run through them as quickly as I can, and hopefully without getting too dense and making you want to lick a battery. First of all, cell design. Tesla has innovated a groundbreaking new tabless battery cell design. This is a much simpler design and has fewer parts, meaning it can be manufactured easier and faster. Faster production means more units made, which means lower cost per unit. And Tesla reckons that this single innovation can lower the cost of making batteries, which is measured in dollars per kilowatt hour, by 14%. And to top it all off, their new cells have more power, which means more oomph. Number two, rethinking cell factories. Tesla plans on revolutionizing what a battery factory looks like. When talking about this, Elon Musk cited the paper and bottle making industries as inspiration. These are industries where the products are essentially made by one giant machine in continuous motion. That is what Tesla are aiming for. In other words, they are working on very clever machines that will build their very clever machines to maximize efficiency. How efficient? About seven times the output of the current gigafactories, meaning these new factories can be much smaller, can cost way less money, and still get more done. Musk estimates that these fancy new production methods mean that their fancy new factories will be able to make a terawatt, that's a thousand gigawatts worth of batteries, for every 150 gigawatts that the current gigafactories are able to make. Also, and I'm only mentioning this one because I totally called it in my last video, Tesla are looking into using a dry electrode manufacturing process to really simplify the whole thing by getting rid of that whole chemical solvent coating thing. It's a faff. That particular breakthrough is still a little while away, but when it does arrive, it will be massive, and you can hear more about that in this video. The bottom line of all these newfangled production methods, oh, just an 18% drop in the cost per kilowatt hour. Now, keep in mind, none of these things are gonna happen overnight, but Tesla is already working towards making this a reality. In fact, they have a little baby pilot factory, which is 1 20th the size of a gigafactory, already using and implementing some of these new techniques. Okay, up next is changes to the actual chemistry of the batteries. Are you still with me? I know this is intense, but if you think this is a lot, you should have seen the actual event. Now, Tesla is going to start using silicone in its lithium-ion battery anodes. I know, very exciting. Again, huge breakthrough. Silicone is capable of holding about nine times as much lithium as graphite, which is the current industry standard. And the good news is, it's abundant. It's everywhere. Sand. That's, that's silicone. Sand is silicone. It's a very difficult material to work with because it has a tendency to expand drastically, like me during lockdown, but Tesla reckon they have cracked a new technique to make it work. The payoff, a 5% reduction in that all important cost per kilowatt hour. As for the cathodes, which is, you know, the other bit of the battery, well, Tesla have only gone and revolutionized those as well. They're doing away with cobalt, which is a very good thing, both from a financial and human rights point of view. Again, watch this video if you want to know why. We don't have time. And Tesla are planning on replacing cobalt with a nickel heavy battery chemistry and what's really clever is they're going to change the recipe a little bit depending on what sort of car they're making need an affordable decent range long life cycle car tesla will use an iron heavy chemistry mid-range cars a nice little nickel manganese blend long range cars like the semi and the cyber truck 
nickel heavy chemistry. Bottom line, a 12% reduction in that cost per kilowatt hour. And I'm gonna stop talking about chemistry now, I promise. And finally, and this is the one that gets me all moist and tingly as a car guy, cell battery integration. What does it mean? It means Tesla has figured out a way to build its battery packs into the chassis of its cars and make the battery pack structurally integral. Elon Musk compared this particular breakthrough to a similar one in aviation where a while back they were like, hey, what if instead of putting fuel tanks in planes, we just made the plane the fuel tank? They're doing the same thing for cars. This is huge because it means that the cars can be lighter, stiffer, and the batteries will take up less room, which means they can fit more of them in. Oh, and a 7% reduction in the cost per kilowatt hour. And if you add up all those little tweaks and changes, what you end up with is a 56% reduction in the cost per kilowatt hour. Which means that once Tesla implements all these little changes that they've announced at Battery Day, they're going to be able to make electric cars so much faster and they're gonna be able to sell them for cheaper than their petrol powered counterparts. And the icing on this cake, because being a Tesla event, there's always a little extra something, is that once these changes are in place, Tesla will be able to afford to make an affordable electric car, the one we've all been waiting for. It doesn't have a name yet, although the internet has coined it the Model 2. All we know for now is what Elon said yesterday, which is that it's gonna cost $25,000. Bargain. Conclusion. Battery production is the bottleneck slowing down the electric car market. Tesla have figured out a way to fix that. And some of these changes are a few months away, some are a few years away, but none of it is just talk. This is cold, hard science. According to Elon Musk, Tesla now knows the roadmap. It knows how to make this happen. Now it's just a question of making it a reality. So there you go, Tesla Battery Day, the day that Elon Musk pretty much signed the death sentence for the petrol-powered car. Let us know in the comments, what did you think of the Battery Day announcements? Do you think they're realistic? Were you underwhelmed, overwhelmed, or just whelmed? As always, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.